Hello. In this episode, we are going uh, back rafting to the famous Finnish. Uh, it's a Runa Rapid, what we called, and we have the backraft canoe with us, and we are going to celebrate the midsummer fest here. So it's midsummer, obviously, and uh, we will have a really nice time testing the the Alpacraft Oryx. So it's a two-person backraft canoe. The maximum the class two rapids and now we have big class two rapids the flow or the discharge is about 120 cubics so it's really high water and we should have a lot of fun and the first step is we drive to the east finland middle of nowhere and we drop my bicycle to the ending point where we end badly yes now we are in Siikakoski so this is the place where we end or paddling and I will hide my bicycle or hide I will put it a little bit that it's not straight to the road but this is good place to end paddling we did the same a couple of years ago so we actually have paddled this river twice already so you know it pretty good I will leave it here someplace and then we can drive to the Starting point. Oh yes, we are now in the Hapavitya parking place. One kilometer walk to that direction. And then we are there and we can celebrate the midsummer. Yeah, and the back one. shelter here in the Hapavitya. There's both sides of this river and we are alone here so, so far. maybe we have a quiet night here. We just need to find a tent place for us. Oh yeah I think our tent place is here. Let's get our thermosel quickly passed. At least it's windy here. Yeah. I hope it's not so much mosquitoes up here. I have maybe 10 in my arms. <laughs> I didn't have time to change my clothes after driving. I was <laughs> so anxious to get here. And uh, I don't even have my trousers with me. I didn't remember to take it. So who could be that I feed the mosquitoes a lot? It's still hot. Yeah, but this is normal thing I showed you last time already how we set up the tent. I won't do it again this time, so let's see you after we have a camp ready here.
the fire. Mm. Okay, so it's midsummer and we have some sparkling wine here and soon we're gonna eat something but first Whoa. we're gonna drink something keep peace keep peace okay for the midsummer midsummer and our our roots are now Yes. Mm. Cheers,
Okay, maybe I'm civilized and use a spoon. So the plan for the morrow is that uh, we don't have much experience of canoe paddling. We practically none of it. <laughs> we can really wrap it. I have two days. <laughs> yeah, we can go with the normal packrafts, but this is so new thing for us that we wanted this to be our like training camp for uh, packrafting with the packraft canoe. This is. High volume uh, glass two rapids. So it's basically like the highest thing what is supposed to do with the Oryx. So yeah, probably we will have a lot of swimming tomorrow. <laughs> but we have paddled this river part uh, twice before and I have been fishing here so we know this river pretty good. So, so it should be safe and really good practice place. And uh, something else, yeah. So this is like warm up. We are going after this trip to continue this East Finland, but uh, we go far, far more to the north. We go to the Kusamo and Olanka, and it's also like really near the Russian border like this place and in the Kusamo we will train one week uh, mostly with our uh, single person packrafts, our wolverines and uh, after that we are going to the Abisko National Park Sweden that is uh, quite far away from here and a couple of friends maybe are joining us to that trip and it's going to be Kick ass trip in the wilderness, really big rapids there. So um, we have a nice warm up before that trip. And that's not all. After that trip, we have still one week more, uh, and we haven't planned anything. So it's like spontaneous, and we can do whatever we want to do after that trip. So it's going to be really action summer. And uh, I will do a lot of videos, so stay tuned. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, so the plan for the day is first to go at the other side of the lake. Caps a few times and try the self rescue because we haven't tried it with this raft. So we have to be really careful because there's two persons now going down to the river, but only one raft. So if we lose the raft, we have to be clever smart. Okay, so this is our mellow vibe. First rapid with Oryx and it's straight solid glass too. So it's going to be really interesting to see do we swim or not. So oh, this is Haapa Vitya. Usually this is like roller coaster, but we'll see. Let's aim for the biggest waves, of course. Not any CC activity. No chicken lines today. Oh yeah, this looks fun. It's small. Oh, let's see. Yeah. 
好。Se on aallon jälkeen edin oikein. This is fun! Anyway! Pädu, pädu! Pädu, pädu! Katja, what do you say? Yes! Yes! Easy. Easy. Okay, so we just uh, finished our first uh, whitewater experience with our Oryx uh, Class 2 Rapid, Hapavitya. And uh, yeah, it was great. It went well. Kai was able to keep the Oryx uh, straight forward and there were some big waves but uh, it still looked quite easy straight line just big waves nothing special but pretty much fun and we were able to do uh, eddy also with the Oryx and we were testing it uh, a couple of times and like eddy in eddy, eddy out and uh, I think we are getting there <laughs> Tell me and something about this place. Yeah, this is very special place. So this is an island, and uh, uh, just a few hundred meters after Habavitia. And there's a there's a fireplace here, and uh, it's a camping spot. Well, I don't know if it's an official camping spot anymore, but it was still two years ago when we were here, the first time. No, actually, four years ago. It was four years ago. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 16, yeah, 2016. So uh, 2016 uh, May, I was here uh, first time in Whitewater with uh, Backraft Alpaca Classic, my very first time in a in a rapid, and how about it? Yeah. And after that, we camped here, and that was like celebration. Yeah. So that's how this thing started. After that, I was sold. All I want to do is backraft and uh, especially do some white water. And so now we're here again. A lot of memories of this place. Yes. Yeah, I remember I got the fish there. And we did clean the fish. And at the next morning we did some uh, really nice breakfast and also lunch from that fish. Yeah, good memories. So this is a shelter in Neiti Saari. So it's an island just before Neiti Koski. Do you remember what is Neiti Koski? Yes! So there is a big stopper wave and I think it's like 50-50 that we capsize there so we have to eat and get some energy before having maybe some swimming.
all right. This is the Neiti Koski. So cool, I can feel it. butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> Usually this is really easy with the single person backraft. You just go straight through the upper wave. But this time we have a different game. You can Katja put the helmet on. Like 20 seconds and we are here. And some people surfing so we have to be careful that we don't run over anybody. And we have to find the tongue about in the middle midway of the way. Oh yeah. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yes. Are you ready to fight? Katossa mä en kanssa nähdä, että meloin hyvin. Nyt täällä joku surffaa. Joo. Mennään taas merkki tossa, että saa mennä. Niitten pitäis tänne yleensä katella aika hyvin. Joo, mä en oo sieltä kymmenellä, mutta en mä kyllä nähnyt taita. Katos näyttää se on. Joo, nyt tuli merkki. Se onkin vähän erilainen kuin ennen. So this rapid is Kattila Koski. I bet somebody has no pan here, so it's like pan rapid. So what is what is Kattila? Ketul. Ketul, yeah. Yes. Okay, so let's find the biggest waves again. And last time I dropped out, now I don't want to swim anymore. But it's not more water and maybe it's my turn. Yeah. This is backrafty. Mm. 
Yeehaw! Ik ben er weer bij. Ja, dat werd nooit. Nou. Dat <laughs> Let's do it again. You can train the any turn. I want to get caught in filming, so maybe some gag. I do Oh, we're going to have a Back in this one. So we are now here in Niskalahti and this is the same place we were four years ago. Mm. So this is fireplace, not the shelter, but there is a, like a woodshed, uh, there's the toilet, really nice table, view to the lake. What do you think? I Are think you... it's perfect. Pretty okay. Yeah, wanna go swimming? Yes, swimming. Swimming, I'm so sweaty. <laughs> Is it cold? It's so warm. <laughs> oh, I have to come swimming too. Yes, come here. Come here, Kai.
place to sleep this night. No. Can we take nice pictures with the phone too? Not really. Just okay. But not really good. So we are going to sleep the door open and enjoy the view. Time to back again. So I have these dry bags for our single person pack rafts. I, I put both two tubes in uh, uh, two bags in both tubes. So for four dry bags if I can count. And I connect those with that clip. And this goes really easily. I bet I could put four bags in both sides and this guy can carry so much weight so it wouldn't be even a problem so yeah this helps when I push the bags there and when I take it out it's easier when they're connected and after that the whole tail or the uh, stern is uh, empty here so for example, in this my backpack, I have a spare paddle here. I just put the hip belt or the waist belt uh, closed, and I can put these backpacks here in the back. I can also push it a little bit to the another tube there. And you just need to be careful that you don't have, have anything like hard shell objects uh, pushing here. Because if you have a hard inside and rock outside and they are pressing together, then the fabric is going to be in a in really hard place. I will take Katya's backpack too. So here is actually... Kind of cold bag also, so we have a lot of weight here. Close these ones too. Snap, rattle, pop. Squeeze it in here. Not making any unnecessary force that. But there is too much stretch on the chipper. And just slide in there. Oh yeah. And then the last guy. This is open too, but I close it. Taking the trashies away. And even this goes easily here. Checking that there's anything hard. Yeah, it should be okay. And then just close it. Yes. Now it's time to inflate.
All right, boys and girls. This is uh, Murro Koski. It's seen in two parts. First is this we call Miska, and after that starts the actually rapid. This is maybe the second hardest rapid on this uh, section of rapids. The Neitikoski stopper wave is the most difficult, and after that comes this Murro Koski. Uh, if I remember right, it's turning a little bit to the left, so it's not like straight forward. So we need some maneuvers from Katia's side. And this is first rapid for Katia to be in the back paddler, as we call the skipper. So this part is sometimes really shallow and you can almost like walk over here. Now we have high water and we can see there's a low part in the almost in the middle. The side there is shallow, a lot of rocks. I think I have mosquito budding on my forehead. Beautiful river. I don't know even know how I have to do this in the front. Do I go sitting down? If there's big wave or what I will do. Yeah. I can feel that this heat is really like unbalanced. But I will let some air out. Yes. Now when the sun warms it up, the black cubes. You are the skipper. The hardest part is in the right. There's the biggest waves. There's a chicken line in the left. But are we chickens or? Yeah. Let's take the real wave. We can start from the right and then start going a bit that low to the left. It's going to be really easy. Yeah, baby. It's then, rock and roll. We need more to the right first. And then start going to the left. Yes. You can see the really big wave in the middle. No. We don't want to go. We don't want to go there in the middle. Okay. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! And there's big wave coming in the front. Yeah. All left. Okay, straight, straight. Yeah! Woohoo! Woohoo! No problemo! Good job, Katya! <laughs> we have a bath stop here! Yeah! Good job! Ei mennä sinne tuolla kalasta, ei vasemmalle. So, we have to empty the boat. We had a big wave there, but it went easily straight there. We tried first to go to the left side, but it was too late. So then your only option is to put your head straight and go through it. And it went well. There is an edit there. What did we go there? Well, I thought we were aiming for the biggest ones. Yeah. <laughs> because that's what I did. Got it for the That was nice. And okay, my tumble. I 
hauska. Hauska koski. So most people think that Bruna Rapids are only this couple kilometer far, but as you see it uh, so yesterday, it's a lot more. And this area is actually quite huge. And there is a long hiking route going around this. So it's a little bit shame that there is not so much people here. Especially paddlers. Shame on you. You should be here paddling. This river is doable, I think, all year. Uh, not winter, of course, when it's uh, ice here, but, but there's a lot of water. I have been fishing here also, I remember that place. And you see it's making a turn there. So we need a balance there. Yeah. Yes, good job. On the left side we see a nice big white water, let's aim there. After the rock, you can see that. The board is coming already. Siikakoski on tässä, niin mä en ollut edes kameraa Okei. Mä että oli joku väli koski, niin mä olin jotain siikakoski. Mä olisin tämän saanut sun ilmeettä äänisyyn. Joo, 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 Tänne, tänne. Yes, my bicycle was still here. So now it's like 25 kilometers. I will drive to the car. I hope I have car keys. I have wallet. So it's a little bit more than one hour. Then I drive back here and collect Katja. Katja can put up our gear uh, to the back and try the, the backraft. So let's see, see you after one and a half hour. 
See you. See you and drive uh, safe. And for the viewers, thanks for watching. We will end this video for this because it's just stupid nonsense after this. So be tuned and next video is from Olanga. That will be really nice stuff. Bye. Moikka. Moikka.